Now, so today we're going to make this fit on the back of this. I'll show you how to do it. So first up, we've got Mr. Hitch's adapter. Put a plate at the bottom, nuts and bolts, shifter, sockets, and a table. Now this thing, believe it or not, just goes on the table. It's a table mount, sits on there. I'll show you how that works, but pretty easy, pretty tricky. Just undo this bit, these loosen up, open up water, and then do it up when she's on the table. And it's got a locking mechanism in here. You can lock it so no one can steal it. Cap on the top, looks nice and pretty. Rhino rack. Got one of them, I got it from ARB Capella Bar, they're a Rhino Rack dealer. Very good to deal with. I'll put a link down the bottom in the description, you can check them out. It's a four bike rack. So we only need three, but we'll adjust them, keep a fourth one. Good times. I'm gonna mount him on the back of here. So going on there, I've got this little door in here with a thing in it, we'll get rid of that. Don't need that, don't require the steps. A couple little screws here, we'll undo them on that side. Should be good. All right, here we go. So, I've got my dressy little Ruby drill, my little eight mil piece on the end. Get with these couple of screws, and it should be happy days. Tricky that one. Should we hold on to Come down and take you out. Something like that. The old, in with the new. Oh, dog in here, we need a half inch dry ratchet. We've got half inch drive 19mm socket together. We need a shifter, nuts and bolts, of course. Steel plate and then Mr. Hitch's hitch. And there we go, back to the end. job to see if I can do it quite easily. So, this is we're going to have uh, this up here. That one to that side. That one to that side. And a 
and fade around so the bolt holes all line up. And hold it with your fingers so it doesn't fall off. Just I want to make sure it's in the middle. So you get the lining up pretty close to the guts. I'm just get one then. So I'm going to play things from the back. Really? 
Yeah. Yeah. Package like that. That's super cheap, obviously. Just peel the bottom off. The spring washer slides out. Piece of gear. Back over here. Now, this is simply slides through the hole. And we wash our. Not on the bottom doing that spring washer pulls onto it. And this is the case of my beer push to see. Hang on up. To it. That's solid, not coming off. Now the park is here. Crack you guys out there for a second while I get the bike rack itself there. Oh, this is a new thing too by the way, so this is I've done it myself so Open up the bottom there. Things like that. Fits across the table. Like so. Nice and tight. Pretty simple. Here's your fixing. If you already had the table in your car, you can just put it on the table, do your thing up. Obviously, tighten up your nuts so it can't go anywhere. And there you go. It holds a max of four bikes there, 15 kilos a piece. So, 33 pounds each, but yeah, four of them. Most bikes are lighter than that these days, so. The drums, little pull on straps, I sit them on the top. Which you just pull it over, and she's on. Strap the wheels together, and away you go, so. Nice and easy. Strap it in. Time it comes and there it is. I reckon. Whew. Like I said, there'll be a link down the bottom for the rhino rack for ALB Capalaba. My available is about. If you like it, I reckon it's helpful. Give us a like, subscribe if you want to, and uh. Yeah, see you next time. Yoo.